Welcome to Engineering Studio with Dr. Mohammad Tahir. In this video, we are going to solve one example to determine the design capacity of a tension member. So we are given here we have a angle section L102102 by 6.4, and it is attached with three 20 millimeter diameter rivets to a 10 millimeter gusset plate. So the thickness of gusset plate is 10 millimeter. The diameter of bolt or rivet is 20 millimeter, and the material is A36 steel. When we say A36 steel, its yield strength is 250 megapascal, and its rupture strength Fu is 400 megapascal. In the figure over here, the detail is shown. So here we have a uh, angle section and this is the line of action of force. So this leg is connected with three bolts and the distance, edge distance is 38 millimeter and the pitch between this bolt is 76 millimeter. Okay. So first we need to determine its capacity. We need to determine its capacity for three cases for tension yielding for tensile rupture and third for Bullock shear failure. So we need to determine the capacity for three these three limit states and the least out of these three will be considered as the design strength of the section. Okay, first to calculate the capacity corresponding to tensile yielding. So for that we know that the tensile capacity Tn is equal to Fy times Ag. So Fy we know which is n times the reduction factor phi. So the Fy is 250. Ag is grass area. So grass area of this section we can find this or uh, we can check the value of grass area for this section from the LRFD manual. So its grass area is 1250 millimeters square. So 1250 millimeter square. Remember this value is obtained from the LRFD manual. So multiply it with the 5 factor which is 0 0.9. So we will get the capacity corresponding to tension yielding. So here it is 0 0.9 this strength reduction factor 250 Fy and this is grass area and the answer will be in Newton. So if we want to convert it into kilonewton, so we need to divide this with 1000 to convert it into kilonewton. So here the capacity corresponding to this is 281.25 kilonewton. Okay, next we need to determine the capacity corresponding to tension rupture, the second limit state. So in that case, we know that the tension capacity Ftn is equal to 0 0.75 which is 5 factor Fu time Ae or we can write 0 0.75 times Fu time U time An. So here we need to determine this U, U shear lag factor as well as the net area. So if we talk about the shear lag factor so U is equal to 1 minus X bar over L. So here the length of connection is from the center of this hole up to the last hole. So it is 76 plus 76. And x bar, this the distance, the location of the centroid, again we can find this value from the LRFD manual. So the x bar from the table is 27.7 and L is 72 times 76. So by solving this we will get the u value is equal to 0 0.82. So it is calculated over here. So x is from the table, l is from the center line of this hole up to the last hole. So it is 2 times 76 and u is 1 minus x bar over l. So 0 0.82. So this is shear lag factor. So next is a n. So a n is equal to a g minus diameter of bolt plus 3 times n times t. So here Ag is given 
uh, we can check from the table which is 1250 minus diameter of bolt is 20 millimeter plus 3 times n so here the critical section will be here here or here so only one bolt will come in the critical section so n will be 1 and t is the thickness of the leg which is 6.4 so from here we can calculate the net area so when we have this net area and shear leg factor so we can substitute in this equation so we can see over here in this here it is calculated phi fuae so 0.755 factor fu is 400 u we have calculated 0.82 and this is grass area minus 20 plus 3 times thickness this is the net area and divided by 1000 to get the answer in kilonewton so we will get this value 271.29 so here it is 271.29 and in case of tension yielding it was 281 so the design capacity phi tn is equal to 271.29 smaller of these two value so our design capacity will be this one but we need to check for the block share so if the design capacity by determine from the tension yielding and tension fracture if this is lesser than that of the block share then we will consider this one or otherwise we need to reduce it to the value which will be for the block share so as the detail of the connection is given so we can easily check the block shear value so here two possibilities will be there so one the fracture can be in this direction so here along the line of the ball there will be shear rupture and in this portion there will be tensile rupture or it can be the tensile rupture can be over here but if we see here we have the larger area we have this leg as well as this area so here the area in tension will be large so there is more probability that the failure will occur in this portion where the area resisting the tension is less so we will consider the second case because it will be the governing that this much area will be shared out of this member will be teared out of this member so we need to calculate the block share strength okay to calculate the block share strength we know that the block share strength is block shear is equal to tension so it is equal to tension rupture plus shear rupture strength corresponding to tension rupture in this area and strength corresponding to shear rupture in this area or we can say strength corresponding to shear yielding we can consider the second case as well to calculate the tension rupture we need a n the area in net area in tension so this much area and for shear rupture we need to calculate a n in shear this much area this so the net area are along this line along the line of the bolt so first calculate the grass area in the shear so area from starting from here this edge up to this so this will be the grass area so from here up to here this will be grass area so if we see 76 plus 76 plus 38 so this will be the length times the thickness of this plate will give us the grass area in share similarly if we want to calculate the net area in share so here from the grass area in share we need to subtract the area of this hole area of this hole and half of the area of this hole because the distance at the grass area we have calculated up to the center of this hole so this grass area in shear minus 2.5 times the area of hole time thickness I mean the diameter of hole time thickness so here we have 1 2 and 0.5 so 2.5 holes will be subtracted the area of 2.5 hole will be subtracted so we consider n is equal to 2.5 similarly to calculate the net area in tension so here we have the distance from this edge up to the center of this hole 38 millimeter so we need to subtract half of the area of this hole so here it is actually 38 times 6.4 which is 243.2 minus 0 0.5 times the area of hole 20 plus 3 is diameter of hole times thickness of the plate will give us the area of hole so the area 
38 times 6.4 will be the area total area in or the grass area in tension and if we subtract the half diameter of hole or half area of hole so it will give us give us the net area in tension so it is 169.6 so now we can consider or we can calculate the block shear value first we consider the tension rupture plus shear rupture this case so for shear rupture so we have 0.6 fu equal to ta times and fu is 400 and a and v we have calculated 848 so 0.6 times 400 multiplied by 848 so it will be the capacity corresponding to shear rupture then capacity corresponding to tension rupture is 400 fu time net area in tension and the factor u will be equal to 1 because in this case the connected leg will have uniform strength or uniform stress okay so in case of shear we have because we are considering the rupture case so this 5 factor will be equal to 0.75 so 0.75 5 factor divided by 1000 to get the answer in kilonewton so we will get this 203.52 kilonewton as the block shear capacity corresponding to shear rupture and tension rupture but if we consider tension rupture plus shear yielding so in that case we need to consider here 0.6 time fy instead of fu the remaining will remain same only we need to change this f u and in case instead of a and v the net area in shear we will consider the grass area in shear so this was value 12 16 millimeter square so 0.6 time fu so fy times the grass area plus this factor will remain same like the above equation and again the strength reduction factor will be 0.75 so we will get this value 187.68 kN and if we compare these two so definitely the yielding limit state will be less so the strength corresponding to block shear will be equal to 187.68 kN and if we compare this value with the previous one previous one phi t n which we have calculated which is 271 for tensile rupture the governing value and this 187 is less than this one so it means this value will be governing value so our member will fail when the tension load when the applied load reaches this value 187.68 kN by the block shear failure so the design strength will be considered equal to 187.68 kN